Cutting edge technology is helping ancient Rome come back to life. Visitors at historic sites, thousands of years old, can now use virtual reality headsets to see what they looked like. Digital artists use Renaissance era art to recreate the relics. Seth Doan is inside the ancient underground ruins in Rome with how tourists can see what's no longer there. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Take a look at this. This cavernous space was once above ground, the grand home of Emperor Nero and considered one of the most magnificent palaces ever built. Its name, Duomus Aria, means the golden house. It's hard to imagine that it was once colorful and flooded with light, but now modern technology is allowing tourists to peer into the past. 2,000 years ago, this labyrinth, now under the city of Rome, was the sprawling home of Emperor Nero, stretching the size of three football fields. Today, tourists can explore it, but the colors, light, and opulence of this ancient Roman villa were unimaginable until this month, when visitors could start using virtual reality glasses. The room looked out centrally onto one of the two pentagonal courtyards. Tom Popup is visiting from New York. You always try and imagine in your mind what it must have been like, and this helps tremendously. Virtual reality brings to life the Domus Aria's grand architecture, rich colors, and opulent walls inlaid with precious gemstones. All of it had been lost for centuries. This entire room was filled with soil yes. like this. Yes, and also other spaces and other rooms of the totally Domus Aria was in. completely filled. And we know now... Alessandro Di Alessio, the uh, chief archaeologist here, explained Aria. how this place was buried following Emperor Nero's death. In the ancient historiography, uh, it was uh, depicted uh, as a monster. As a monster. The emperor's massive compound was covered over. It was forgotten about for nearly 1,500 years until Renaissance artists tunneled down into what they believed was an ancient Roman cave. Painters during Renaissance times would come through that hole? Yes. And discovered the Domus Aria? Yes. The marvelous frescoes they saw influenced art for centuries, and their paintings of this site would become a roadmap for a much later so generation of digital artists. More. Nothing is invented. Nothing is invented. Every part of the reconstruction has a scientific base. We have the gold. Raffaele Carlani is an architect and graphic designer whose company, Catatexi Lux, painstakingly created the virtual reality show. And you recognize from this shape, this really strange shape here. We have this strange shape here. So you go back to these Renaissance paintings to recreate what this looked like. Yes. And then tr transition to here digitally. Yes. It's Italy, so of course his studio has its own frescoed ceiling. Working from the town of Emilia outside Rome, designers used the graphically rich technology of video games to virtually transport tourists inside the ancient Duomus Aria to see its grandeur, its colorful marble, and sweeping views of Rome. You look down at the grass, and the grass is moving in the wind. This is funny. I saw a lot of children that try to touch the grass. Touch the, the, the grass. It, it looks lifelike. <laughs> yes. The city of Rome has used technology to reimagine several tourist sites, including the forums of Caesar and Augustus, where history is illuminated through lasers and light shows projected on the ruins. Through the virtual reality, you can understand how these uh, uh, spaces were in the past. Francesco all, Prosperetti all the is the superintendent uh, for archaeology in Rome. He was the one who pushed to use virtual reality here. It is uh, something that uh, nobody can imagine before. It's interesting, this concept of using modern technology to understand ancient history. To get closer to these things of, of the, of the uh, ancient past, the only way is to use technology. The architecture and paintings here influence the likes of Michelangelo and Raphael. Excavation work here continues. There is still another 30% of this palace to be unearthed.
Wow. wow. That is just stunning. I think so too.